Um, what's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, you know, really random. And I thought I'd come and talk to you for a little while. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I took a shower. Everything's nice and clean. I smell good. I put lotion on my body. So you know I'm on the up and coming if I'm actually lotioning myself. Um, fun fact, I used to never put on lotion because I felt like it was icky. I'm like, it just gave me like, I just couldn't touch it, okay, when I was younger. Um, I kind of grew out of it. I guess my urge to have pretty skin outgrew my disgust for lotion. But um, I'm here because I want to talk to you guys about the people I love. Now, I made a video a couple of days ago talking about the people I love, but I miss some very important people, okay? And so now we're going to talk about them right after this intro. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. And we are back. Now, when talking about the people I love, I talked a lot about my family and my thoughts. And I really did go in depth on the people that, like, forever, forever will be in my heart. For example, I talked about my mother. Not my birth mother, but my adoptive mother. And even though I went no contact with my adoptive mother, I still love her, right? Now, one of the things, or some of the things that I didn't really get to touch on is like my spirituality journey, okay? Because there's some people that help change my life for the better. Did I talk about my therapist when I was talking about people I love? I don't know, but I'm gonna talk about my therapist right now when I talk about people that I love, okay? Now, this is a part of my spirituality journey, my mental health journey, people that definitely were a part of that. And I'd have to say that number one, Stuart. Stuart was my number one fighter in my corner when I was really depressed. He was really there when I started my spirituality journey. Even though my spirituality journey started way back, I want to say when I was in high school. When I was in high school, I joined the volleyball team because girls in short shorts, wow. Um, but I joined the volleyball team and there was one girl that was also on the volleyball team who was a striker. Now, I think a striker is the person that hits the ball. Um, I was there to be a striker too. But um, because we were strikers, we weren't doing the runs. Like the other girls, they were running back and forth and doing the exercise. And me and that girl were just sitting, we were chilling, okay. No exercise for us. Um, and one day at volleyball practice, I'm trying to get some water in as I do this. But one day at volleyball practice, um, she pulled out her tarot cards. This was my first time ever interacting with tarot cards. This was just my first time. I think this was around 11th grade or even 12th grade, which if it was 11th grade, it was around the same time. Hmm, it could have been 12th grade. I want to say it was 12th grade because I dated Stu at the same time. So like my spirituality journey has been like about the same amount of time that I've known Stu. So coincidence, I think not. Anyway, she pulled out her tarot cards. Uh, tarot. She pulled out her tarot cards and she did a reading for me. Now at that point, I was still in like high school. I had never really became open about what happened to me as a child. I was constantly living, kind of thinking about the future, but not really thinking I had a place in this world. Um, younger Aaliyah was depressed, depressed AF, like not even going to lie. Um, it was surprising that like, I think a lot of people saw me as like this smiley, be quiet, this smiley dizzy girl. And I was like, no, I hated myself. I hated the situation I was in. I was always feeling like bad for myself. Like I, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy at all. And I didn't know where my future was going to go. And like, I'm at the same point right now. I don't really know what I'm going to do in the future, but I'm not really like depressed when I think about like the future. Back then I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to do something. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I was pretty lost. So, this was the first time that I received hope 
from the universe. I, I got a sign from the universe. When I was younger, though, I do have to say, when I was younger and about, like, the fifth grade, before the thing happened with my brother, I felt like I could talk to the universe. Like, it was just little, little, I wouldn't say petty things, but little childish things. Like, I would say, if this boy likes me, can it rain? Rain wasn't on the forecast, but guess what? It did rain. And guess what? That boy did like me, okay? So magic okay and also I had a shadow man that would like keep an eye on me like stand outside of my bedroom door and just keep an eye on me which kind of scared the shit out of me but like you know what I mean I was spiritually in inclined you know I saw the floaters all the time but at that point I felt like I lost that protection after what happened to me that fifth grade summer um, I felt like I wasn't worthy of being um, seen by like the spirits. Like I felt like I had a connection. I lost it because I wasn't pure anymore, right? I was so convinced of this. I was so convinced of this. And in the fifth grade year, I just uh, drink my water and get back on track. Because I'm feeling the emotions, like, and, like, now that I've had, like, a lot more ups and downs and stuff like that, and I've matured more, I have to say that it does hurt, but I'm not going to cry about it, you know what I mean? So it's still, like, a pain in my heart. Like, my younger me is crying out because I really did feel this way. Um, but anyway, I love this girl. She did a reading for me, and her reading said something along the lines of, um, I was going to travel and there was going to be one day where um, the memories don't always plague me and I was going to be free and I was going to be healed. Now, this girl didn't know anything about me. Like, she didn't know my story. I wasn't telling anyone what happened to me at that point. But it was just like she touched on all of that and said that there was a future where I would be happy. And I was like, wow. And also, it talked about Asia. For those who don't know, um, after that, I did become a little obsessed with, like, Korean culture, teaching myself Korean. And I went all the way to Korea for a year. And Korea, going to Korea was, like, kind of like my downfall. Like, hey, you definitely have to heal yourself. Um, but that's a story that I've already told, but I can also tell on another day. So I really do love her because she gave me hope, so much hope that she started, she started a healing journey before the healing journey actually even started. So that was like in high school. I want to say my 11th or 12th grade year, probably my 12th grade year, but I'm going to be a little rough about it. Um, I love her and I'm so thankful for her because she really helped me without even knowing that she helped me and she, she had tarot cards probably she didn't know she helped me i don't even know if she still uses plays with their tarot cards as some people like to say i don't know but like she had a talent and she saw something in me um so um if she ever comes across this video <laughs> I love you and I'm very thankful that you were in my life. You helped change me. What the hell is that? For the betterment of <laughs> the betterment of me, okay? <laughs> it was a little baby fly. Um next from that point, I wanna say, like we're talking specifically people who helped me on my spiritual journey. We gotta call out V Loving Crystals. Now, I don't even know if V Loving Crystals looks at my videos or anything, cause like, I'm all over the place. And I understand if people don't watch my videos because I'm all over the place, but V Loving Crystals, my girl. This was like into my, like, into my adulthood, like college years, stumbled across V Loving Crystals after everything had went down. And I think I really got ready to cut my mom out of my life or I was cutting my mom out of my life. And V definitely gave me a lot of support. And I definitely looked up to her and I still look up to her because that woman can post, post, post. Like she has like this YouTube career that I think is highly underrated from the amount that she puts out. She is highly underrated on YouTube, okay? Um, but she's always putting out content. She's making her decks. She's a creative. And I love V. 
And I love that V was there for me on my spiritual journey. And I don't even know if she knows just how much she was there for me on my spiritual journey. But part of the reason I am where I am now is because of V. And then I can go and take it a step further and say, Shanetta Divine Tarot. I can say Vanessa Semina. And I can also say the Tarot Priest. Um, I've done a video talking about them before in the past, but not recently, but all of these people really were a part of my healing journey. Now I have some tarot people that I watch nowadays, which I can do a video about the tarot girls, the tarot girlies that I'm watching now overseas because, um, people be uploading their content overseas on this, these websites. I'll talk about that. That's something they talk about, but, um... These are the people that really had an impact on my life. I had a associate slash friend, um, and we're gonna call her S. This was like in between college, this was after high school, in between college. S had tarot cards, okay? When I went over to S's place where she had her tarot cards and she had her crystals, I felt a sense of belonging, okay? I felt like that's where I want to be, okay? So I have to say I do love her and she did support, like, I wouldn't say she supported me on my healing journey, but she definitely was a part of my healing journey and me becoming who I am today. Uh, yes, I mean, some people might say, oh yeah, you saw her do the tarot cards and then you wanted to be into the tarot cards. No, I actually was introduced to tarot cards before her and that reading gave me so much, like, so much love and so much positive, a positive outlook on the world that I didn't hold before, but I didn't go and get my own deck. I didn't go get my own crystals. I wasn't that deep in it until later on. I saw her and it became more accessible. It reminded me about that moment where um, when I was in uh, when I was in the ninth grade, I think I meditated for the first time. Like meditated for the first time. Not even ninth grade. I mean like when I said ninth grade, I was thinking my freshman year, but not freshman year of high school, freshman year of college. When I was in my freshman year of college, I meditated for the first time, and it was unworldly. I felt like my body levitated up out of my, like my soul levitated up out, up out of my body. And I was like, wow, you know, wow, wow. And then I'd have periods where I'd do good on like my spiritual journey and things would work out, and then it would just stop, and I'd do good, and I'd stop, and I'd do good, and I'd stop, right? So, all of this to say is, there's a lot more people that I love, right? Specifically the people that were a part of my spiritual journey. And I want to say V Love and Crystals, the girl from high school, my friend S, who I don't even know, like, I don't even know where that is. I don't, I don't know. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But yeah, all of these people had a deep impact on me spiritually. And that, that is something that really, really matters to me because without these people, I wonder where I, I would be. Now, my, my fifth grade teacher that I said that I loved before, Miss um, Sheila, she didn't have anything to do with my spiritual journey. However, she was a, a, radiation of love radiation of love she was a radiation of love in my life that i needed at that point and like it's not just about love it's about the people who tell you you need to heal that shadow okay and i was listening and i was listening and i was listening and i can say at this point i want to say i'm 100 percent healed but i want to say about 85 percent healed about 85 percent healed so this was a ramble with Aaliyah talking about, not even talking about my childhood, but just talking about like things that I love. How did I get to the point that I am right now? I don't think I will ever denounce tarot cards. I think that there's good and realistically there's evil in everything. There's the pros, there's the cons, you know what I mean? And there can be the fanatics and there can be the people that just, but at the end of the day, for me personally, um, tarot, that spirituality wave only has bettered me at this point. I've only felt like I have been become a better version of me. I'm happier. I'm more peaceful. I found love and I found joy and I found a place to be safe. Okay. So this is all meaningful for me and I can't imagine it being any other way. 
actually, if I, I, I do imagine that if I never found myself back in like the spirituality, spirituality, the witchy side of like freaking TikTok, if I never found myself in that area, I don't know where I would be right now. And mind you, I'm not like the full witchy girl. I, I'm not always, every time there's a moon and da 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 da. But I do consume a lot of that uh, material and I do love doing tarot readings. And I think that in the future, I will bring back doing tarot readings on my channel, if not like once a month, you know? I think that's just a very valuable part of me. And on this channel of Unitedly Random, we're just going to continue to have Unitedly Random sit downs, Unitedly Random everything, which I know, I know, I know. People say it's not good for your channel growth if people don't know what they're going to get from your channel. Um, I'm just here to tell you that you probably will never know what you're going to get from my channel because I don't know what I'm going to put on my channel. So <laughs> here's to that. <laughs> it's Unitedly Random for a reason. I will take 10 years, you know, like, you know, people will say it will take longer for you to da 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 I, I would take, t I could take 10 years before I could ever become something. I could never become something and I still won't regret not having multiple channels to do multiple things and yada, yada, yada. I thought about doing the multiple channel thing. It's not me. It's not. Maybe later on if I'm making a lot of content. Yeah. But like, I like the unitedly random of it all. Give me a second. Let me go ahead and drink the water. Oh, my timer's going off. Okay, let's see if I can drink this water before it goes off. But if it, if it doesn't, if my battery go dead before it go off. I love you guys. Much love, positive vibes, and I'll see you guys next time. Now, let's see if I can finish the water. See, I told you guys I knew I was gonna finish this water. Now, what you need to do, go drink some water, okay? If you didn't drink a bottle of water while you was listening to me talk, go and get a bottle of water and drink it right now. Love you, and let me know down below that you drunk your bottle of water. Bye-bye!